Hello and welcome. Today we're working on cost, volume, profit, or CVP analysis. Now this is the start of a playlist that I'll do several videos on that relate to cost, volume, profit, but let's understand what this is. Now, this is also sometimes called break-even analysis, but that's only part of what cost, volume, profit uh, entails. So one thing we want to look at is, let's look at the income statement for cost, volume, and profit. We're trying to figure out what our costs do and how much profit we're making or loss if we change volume. So we see that over time things change if we increase or decrease our total number of sales. So our variable cost and income statement is sales minus variable cost. You know, that's a cost that changes with volume. We subtract that out and get contribution margin. And then we have a fixed cost. A fixed cost is a cost that does not change with volume. So like a car payment every month is the same amount. That would be a fixed cost. A rent, every time you pay rent the same amount, that's a fixed cost. And then hopefully we have a profit. So let's do an example and kind of look at it a couple of different ways to make sure you understand how this works. So let's say Cherry Company has the following information for one product. It has current sales of $10,000. Our sales price is $200. Our variable cost is $150. And our fixed cost is $640,000. So one of the things we want to do is figure out, well, what's our per unit contribution margin? So $200 minus the $150, that will be $200 minus $150 is going to be a $50 contribution margin. And then we're going to do percentages on that. So that's 100% and we're going to divide the 150 divided by the 200 and that will be 75%. We can subtract 100 minus 75 and get 25 or we can take 50 divided by the 200 and get 25%. All right, so let's look at the current level of sales and understand if we change volume, what's going to happen to our costs and our profit. So our current level of sales is 10,000 units, and we're doing 10,000 units each selling at $200. So our total sales are 2 million, and our variable cost is gonna be 10,000 times the 150, so that's gonna be you know, one and a half million, and we'll subtract this out, 2 million minus the one and a half is gonna be $500,000. Now the problem is our fixed cost doesn't change at 640, so we're actually going to lose money. 500 minus 640, we've lost 140,000. So what we need to do is we need to increase our volume so we can end up with a profit. And so I'm going to show you real quickly break-even point. I've got a full video on break-even point. But what is the break-even point? How do we stop this? We're so concerned we do not want to lose money. Well, the break-even point is where our revenues equal our cost or our point of zero profit. Now, we're not trying to reach only zero profit, but we're concerned because we're losing money. At 10,000 units, we're losing money. We're having a loss. So what would the calculation be? So that we can do break-even in units or break-even in sales dollars. So we're going to take our fixed cost divided by our contribution margin per unit. So let's do that. Fixed costs are going to be 640000 Our contribution margin per unit is going to be the $50. So we've got to sell a lot of products for that to equal our break-even point. We've got to sell more than 10000 So 640 divided by the 50, we've got to sell 12,800 units. Now, what would that be in dollars? Well, we can take 12,800 times the 200 and that would equal our break-even in sales, or we can calculate that directly. So 640, and we're going to divide it by the percentage, the contribution margin percentage of 25%. So we need to take the 640 divided by 25%. We end up with 2,560,000. Now, these two numbers are related. If I multiply the 12,800, times the $200 per unit, I'm going to get $2,560,000. Well, let's prove this just with a little income statement. What if I sell 12800 Well, our sales are going to be 12800 times, I'm going to go and point to it so I can change the numbers here, 
$200 per unit. If I take the 12,800 times $150, which is my variable cost per unit, then my contribution margin is going to be 2 million minus the 1.9 million, 640,000. My variable cost is 640. So 640 minus the 640 is the point of zero profit. Now, we're not really happy about having no profit, but we want to avoid having a loss. So what you could do now, since you have everything calculated, you can calculate, well, what would it happen if we could sell 15,000? I'm just going to enter 15,000, and you'll see our sales go to 3 million, our variable costs go up, but not as fast as our sales does, and so we'd end up with a profit of 110,000. So this is the what if analysis, cost, volume, profit. We see we make a loss at 10,000. We had zero profit of 12,800, and we had a profit uh, at 15,000 units sold. So this is cost, volume, profit. Check out the playlist. We've got lots of videos on understanding this important topic.